the first step in assessing the client to a sitting position in bed is to adjust the bed at an appropriate and comfortable working height and place client flat on bed or as low as the client can tolerate with arms on the side and palms facing downwards. Place a pillow at the head of the bed and remove all other pillows and ask the client if able to bend her legs and put her feet flat on the bed to assist the movement. If not, assist her to bend her knees. Position yourself at the client's midsection with your feet spread, shoulder width apart, and one foot slightly in front of other. Place your arm that is nearest to the client's shoulders over the client's shoulder resting between the shoulder blades. Place the other hand near the edge of the bed by the client's shoulder and push the hand that is by the edge of the bed and pull the clients toward you and assist lifting the client in a sitting position and assist the client to a comfortable position and readjust the pillows and supports as needed raise the side rails and place the bed in the lowest position Next is the assessing a client to a sitting position on the edge of the bed. The first step is place the bed in the lowest position. Raise the head of the bed slowly and as high as the client can tolerate. Encourage the client to make use of a stand assessing aid attached to the side of the bed. If available, to move to the side of the bed into a side lying position. Facing the side of the bed, the client will sit on. Turn the client facing you, place the client's lower legs and feet at the edge of the bed. Stand near the client's hips, stand with your legs and shoulder width apart with one foot near the head of the bed, slightly in front of the other foot. Place one arm around the client's shoulders and the other arm under the client's thigh near the knees. Encourage the client to make use of the stand assessing device. Assess the client to sit up on the side of the bed by lifting the client's thigh and gently turn the edge of the bed. Keep your back straight in the void twisting and let the client dangle his leg on the edge of the bed. The first step on transferring the client from bed to wheelchair is to make sure the bed brakes are locked. Put the wheelchair next to the bed, facing the foot of the bed. If available, lock the brakes of the chair. If the chair does not have brakes, brace the chair against a secure object. Place the bed in the lowest position. Raise the head of the bed to a sitting position or as high as the client can tolerate. Lower the side rail. Assist the client in a side lying position, facing the side of the bed where the chair is. Stand with legs apart with one foot forward near the head of the bed and assist the client in sitting at the edge of the bed. Let legs dangle for a few minutes. Stand facing the client, spread your feet about shoulder width apart and flex your hips and knees. Position yourself as close as possible to the client with your foot positioned on the outside of the client's foot. Place your hand around the client's waist. Place the client's one hand on your shoulder and the other hand on your waist. Ask the client to slide his buttocks to the edge of the bed until the feet touch the floor. On the count of three, use your legs, not your back, to help raise the client to a standing position. 
turned the client with his back to the chair and asked the client to walk backwards until he fills the chair with the back of his leg, tell the client to grasp the arm of the chair and gently lower the client into the chair and flex your hips and knees when helping the client sit in the chair. Place feet on the footrest of the wheelchair and make client comfortable and drape it necessary. The first step in transferring client from bed to stretcher is to adjust the head of the bed to a flat position or as low as the client can tolerate and raise the bed to a height one half inch higher than the transport stretcher. Lower the side rails if in place. Loosen the jaw sheet or place a lifter under the client. Roll the sheet close to the client's body and position the stretcher next to and parallel to the bed and lock the wheels on the stretcher and the bed. Have the client fold arms against chest and move chin to chest. Let the assistant stand across the middle of the stretcher and grasp the other rolled end of the sheet by the client's head part and lower hip area. Climb onto the mattress beside the hips and buttocks of the client and grasp the rolled sheet by the shoulder part and hip area of the client. And on the count of three, let the nurse standing on the stretcher side of the bed. Pull the sheet while the nurse kneeling on the bed should lift the draw sheet and transferring the client's weight towards the transfer board and pushing the client from bed to stretcher and remove the transfer board. If used, then then raise the side rails of the stretcher and transfer any IVs to the IV pole of the stretcher and place the client comfortably on the stretcher and drape properly and remove gloves and perform hand washing.